Check that out. Gosh. Wow. That is an awesome find right there. early it is for me I left the house this morning at 3 o'clock it's now 525 I'm sitting here at my lake and I'm waiting on a friend of mine Bayou Diggs he's uh, gonna be coming through the area and uh, he's gonna meet up with me and we're gonna uh, hit this lake together this is one of my favorite lakes uh, it's one that uh, it's really been really good to me every year except one year I mean I'm talking 13 rings last year I took off of this with necklaces I stayed out here 14 hours and got 13 rings and uh, so a uh, year before, I think at 12, and a year before that, maybe 10 and 8. I mean, it's always been a great producer of rings, and I'm hoping that this year will be no different. But you never know, you know, that when people come out and they, they, they could discover this lake. It's kind of an undiscovered lake as far as, uh, it's a real popular swimming area, but kind of undiscovered as far as metal detectors. And, um, and I came across this about four years ago in my research, and so it's been paying off, but you never know, every year, People can watch your videos and figure out where you are, and they'll come up and start hitting it and stuff like that. And uh, so it's just a big risk. It's a two and a half hour drive for me to get up here, but it's a, it's a really good place. But regardless, I'm going to have fun because I'm going to meet up by you, Diggs. And he made something a while back when we planned this trip. Check this out. It's called uh, Water Detecting Bingo. And so uh, we're going to be doing some bingo. We're going to have some fun with it anyway. By the end of the day, we'll lay out these bingo cards, and we're going to see if we can get a bingo. And uh, But I'm waiting on him to get here, and uh, the sun is to fix it. I can see the light coming up. It's going to be light here in about 30 minutes, and uh, we'll get out here in the water so far. There's no other guys here, and uh, hopefully it's going to be a good day. And uh, so I will see you guys out in the water. Just about 15 minutes got my first little ring it's a small ring but it's a little silver rope ring it's ringing up like a 61 but I'll take that Benjamin's already got a, a stainless steel ring so that's two rings in the first 15 minutes lots of pull tabs lots of money this is, hasn't been hunted this ought to be a good day hopefully it is all right let's keep going you ever been up a creek without a paddle A second find here. I've got the whole necklace. It's going to be a, a Catholic necklace. I'm not sure. I think it has Mary and baby Jesus on it. I thought it was a St. Christopher at first, but uh, I can't tell if it's silver or not. It's ringing up a 5051, but uh, we'll look at it later on, see if it's a silver chain or, or silver. I think it is. I think because it'd be ringing up higher, but uh, sometimes chains ring up different. Throws your numbers off because of the chain. Well, that's uh, a ring and uh, a necklace, so let's keep on rolling. Check this out. It's an episode. Preacher Digger then got his cross. Bring it up like a 45. Stainless steel. First one for the day. Let's see how many more we can get. All right. It's turning out to be a pretty good day, so let's keep on going. Well, got my second ring. I think it's just going to be a gold-plated. It was ringing up like a 60, 61, jumping around. And uh, so nothing fancy. Um, hopefully you can see me. I got the sun behind me. I don't, hope, hope I wasn't silhouetting there. Now you can see, maybe. Yeah, it's just a little ring. Nothing fancy. All right, let's keep on rolling. That's uh, three rings out of here and two pendants and a necklace so uh, we've only been doing it for one hour so we're having a good day wading out in the deeper water and uh, got a 21 signal I got my discrimination today on about 25 this was coming up as 21 it's gonna be a nice uh, what's that gonna be is old timer pocket knife 
that's on the uh, water hunting bingo card of the knife so I've got that so maybe I can win today all right let's keep on going let's get, go for a good ring deeper water about uh, a little bit above my waist about mid chest it's uh, paying off I'm working uh, just kind of the side of the swim area you know, I don't know if you can see that there it is it's a nice tungsten ring with a brown inlay I'll take that that's ring number one two three three for the day three rings one cross and one necklace all right let's keep on rolling see so what else is out here in this deep end up there. Check it out. It's a little gold ring. All right, this is what we came for. Being by, you've been digging the heck out of these pull tabs, and this is ringing up as a 54, uh, 55, and so uh, that's why you dig the pull tabs. It didn't have the had the same number as a pull tab, but it didn't have the same tone as a pull tab. Uh, I'll show you that. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring my detector up and, and do an air test on the ring and the pull tab and let you listen to it. But yeah, check that out. It's a little gold ring, got a, two little diamonds in it, got a little fancy on top. Uh, but I'll take that. All right, let's keep on going. Let me do a pull tab test for you and let you listen to the difference. All right, we're gonna do an air test with the gold ring first. Let me get this pull tab out. And so here is the number. What's it ringing up? 54. 54. All right, now here comes the pull tab. Fifty-five. 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 So that's going to be the difference. Now, listen to the sound. Put that up by you to my ear. All right, here is the ring. All right, and here's the pull tab. Double hit. And you see, there's a, it's pretty much the same, but there's a little bit difference in the tone. And so that's why you dig the pull tabs, because it could be a very well, it could be a gold ring. All right, now that you learned the tip of the day, let's move on and try to find another one. Check that out. Gosh, that was ringing up a 7879, which sometimes is an aluminum can, but it didn't sound like an aluminum can. It actually sounded like a, a zinc penny. And I thought, but it wasn't ringing up a 7576. And so it's one of those odd numbers I was telling you about in a couple of videos ago where you get you look at listening for those odd numbers, those weird numbers that are not normal. And look at that. That is a FFA ring. It's got an eagle up on top. It's got FFA on it. Uh, it's got a star on the inside of here. I don't know if it's silver or gold or something in between. But wow, that is an awesome find right there. Just working myself real slow. Wow, that is a huge ring too. Check that out. All right, let's go. Let's see if we can find some more. All right, just making another pass, kind of where I found that uh, FFA ring, and I got a 47 here. It took me a second to get this one up, but it's a stainless steel ring. But uh, maybe I'm in a hot pocket right here, so I'm going to keep uh, circling the wagons and seeing what I can come up with. All right, that's, uh, I forgot what count on the ring that is. One, two, three, four, five. Is that five rings? And I think Bayou's got two or three. And uh, so there's still targets out here. They're everywhere. All right, let's keep going. Bayou is calling me over. Gave me the ring signal. Check that out, a titanium ring. Boy, that's a beauty too, shiny. And uh, what else you got? Show me up what else you got. I got a couple more. Just got a silver there. Look at that. Got that turquoise ring. Silver turquoise. And uh, this, this was the first ring of the day. Lord's Prayer ring. Lord's he got Prayer a cross ring. too. We started off with a cross. We got three though. crosses today. That's, yeah, and then this uh, stainless. And a stainless well. steel ring. I think it used to have some. So little. that's four rings for him, five rings for me. That's nine rings out of here today. Two necklaces, or one necklace and a pendant. And no, I got two necklaces and he got a pendant. So a lot of stuff is coming out of here. So let's keep on rolling and see what else we can get. 
he was a little discouraged a while ago. He wasn't finding anything in two rings in a row, back to back. So he's ready to roll now. He to eat something. Yeah, I had to eat something. So let's keep swinging. Well, it's almost lunchtime, and I'm working myself back up. I see Benjamin, his son, eating some uh, lunch, and so I thought I'd go join them. And on my way back in, I got a 4748. And check that out. Preacher Digger done got him another cross. In fact, he got five crosses. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that on the GoPro. But it's... Uh, on the back it says Jerusalem and what this is this is a Jerusalem cross it's kind of like a Maltese cross but it's a Jerusalem cross and it's got uh, five crosses on it the middle cross is gold on the stamp it has 875 here and 875 is 87.5% uh, gold and so that's an unusual marking and um, I'm, I'm I'm familiar with this. That's why I'm telling you this. Uh, 80, 875 marking is a 21 karat gold is what it is. And England and does 22 karat. And we do 24 and, and, and we do 22 and 18. But uh, 21 is something that the Arabic nations do. And so that would make sense being Jerusalem and being a 21 karat. So that's a good find. It's a layered cross in the middle with five crosses or four crosses on each corner which is um, s signifies the, the what they call the five wounds of Jesus and I believe this is going to be you know I don't know if this is Catholic uh, jewelry or, or what I'm not real certain on that but I'm familiar with the cross though it's a beautiful pendant I wish I could find the chain to go with it if it's a uh, 21 karat gold. I don't think the whole thing is gold. I don't know. Um, it could be. I don't see no marking on the back. It could be white gold. Let's see, I know the, the center cross is gold, and I know the clasp is gold. That's a good find, isn't it? Wow. And just, you hunt this, and you come back over in the shadows where you already hunted, and it's still stuff to be found. All right, let's uh, go eat some lunch and take a break, and we'll come back out. All right, uh, we stepped out for a break. Uh, Bayou Diggs has got to leave and uh, we wanted to do our bingo card and show you guys this so we got it all laid out So who won? Let's see. All right, we'll start with Bayou. And here he goes. Where did you get here? You got a diagonal? No? Well, you got a free space though. You can put something there. Well, Preacher Digger's worth something. Oh, Preacher Digger. <laughs> so we got a, his ring, his bottle caps, a free space, stud ear ring, and a vape pen. So he... At least 10 bottle caps. He, the room. Yeah, yeah, he got... He bingo diagonally there, but I think I got him beat, guys. Look at this. I got a bingo here. I got 49 cents. I got the stainless steel ring, the cross, the study ring, and four quarters. But I also got it diagonal. I got uh, the vape pen. Uh, what else? Study ring. Now check that big old ring out. I'll show that to you at the wrap up later. Ten bottle caps and a little silver ring. And only thing I missed off this list, I haven't got a bracelet yet. I bet I will by the end of the day. I uh, haven't got a dog tag or a hoop earring yet or a toy car or sunglasses. I did use, get these glasses, though. So it was a lot of fun. Sure thing. Well, you ended up with, uh, how many rings did you, four rings? Four rings today. Four got rings and a pendant. Stainless Lord's Prayer ring with a cross. That was what I used for my cross on the bingo card. Uh, stainless here. A titanium, titanium there. Titanium there. And then the other stainless. Oh, oh the silver, sorry. Oh, the silver there. Yeah, oh, nice silver, silver turquoise, one. yeah. Well, you got a cool pair of sunglasses. Yeah. Check that out. One leg. Yeah, that'll work, man. Well, thanks for coming up and hunting hey, with me, and thanks for doing the fun. bingo game. That was a lot of fun. And so uh, we'll just call it a draw. We both won. How about that? I like it. We had a good time. Let's do it again for a rematch. All right, let's do it, guys. I saw Bayou Diggs and his son off, and I uh, came back out here. Going to search this about another hour. But there's a campground swim area. I'm going to hit it too. I've never done that one, so it, that may be something there. But I've got a, a, a 30 ringing up, and uh, it's a real thin gold chain. Check that out. I'll take that. That's going to be pretty nice. I think I can't read any markings on it yet, so we'll have to wait to the wrap up. All right, let's keep going. There's got to be more out here. All 
All right, it's getting a 90 to a 91. Jumping down from an 89 to a 91, I should say. But sticking around a 90, 91. And this is going to be another one of those heart arrow James Avery rings. This is going to be my fourth one. I dug one not too long ago, a couple weeks ago. And I have three or two like this, and I think three of the other style. There's two different styles. This is the bigger style, and there's a smaller style. So that's uh, ring number uh, seven, six, eight. I don't, I don't even know. I've lost count. So, all right, let's keep looking. Uh, still lots of area to cover. Maybe we'll find a few more. Well, I made it back from the lake. It's been a long day. I got up at three o'clock this morning. Drove two hours and 20 minutes. I got there a little early, waited on Bayou Digs. He got there at six. We got in the water and immediately we started finding rings. He ended up finding four rings. I ended up finding six rings, I believe. Uh, three, four, five, seven rings. I found seven rings. He's got four rings. So that lake, once again, produced. I only go there once a year. And I usually go a little bit later than I do now, but uh, he was coming through town and we met up. But man, it's, uh, it was 107 degrees. I called it quits about 345. I just couldn't go anymore, getting sunburned, long drive home. And so I made it back. Uh, I've got everything laid out. Let me spin you around. Let me show you what we found. As you can see, we found quite a bit, quite a bit. But here's all my trash. I was digging a little bit of everything, all the steel, metal, because that sounds like chains. All the aluminum pieces, hair, bobby pins, hair things, glasses, vape pins, all this uh, fishing weights, fishing lures. We got some aluminum caps, some bottle caps, pull tabs galore I was digging them because I got one gold ring out of all those I got one gold ring and that was worth it a lot of round pull tabs and a couple of bullets a nine millimeter and looks like a rat shot and then me and uh, Bayou had a great time doing water detecting bingo I got bingo both ways he got bingo one way so we had a pretty good time I almost filled up everything on the list I'm just a few things I didn't get a toy car and uh, a couple of things but I got everything else Got me a pair of goggles. Seems like I get a pair of them all the time. A really nice, I think this is an old timer knife. A uh, really nice knife. That can clean up, but it's gonna go in my box with all the other many, many knives that I have. Let's see how many quarters I got today. Got one, two, three, four, five, six dollars and fifty cents. Not as many as I normally get, but that's quite a bit. I got five, 10, 15, 21 dimes. I got 5, 10, 13 nickels, and 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47 pennies. So quite a bit of coins. Here's my earrings, a little butterfly, a star, a turtle, a round thing, and then a, a little small stud oh, uh, loop with a uh, diamond in it. That might be silver. I got a St. Anthony. It's got some writing on the back of it there. Franciscan Friars of the Atonement. I can't read the last name on it. But anyway, that's a, a St. Anthony. Goes in with all my Catholic jewelry. Preacher Digger did get his cross. I got another one just like this one in my display already. And wow, what a cross that one was. That is, that is gold. I don't know if I can show you. Let me see if I can get it over here now and show you this. Well, let's see. Focus in. Anyway, that says 875, which is 87.5% gold, which is 21 karat gold, which is uh, what they use in the Arabic nations. And uh, that must be... Uh, maybe Arabic, uh, uh, Jerusalem, the Middle East region. So, it's a uh, layered Jerusalem cross. It's got five crosses on it, symbolic for the five wounds of Jesus. Here's my rings. I got a junker ring. I got a stainless steel ring. A very nice tungsten ring. 
I got a little silver rope ring that'll shine up once I get it in there. It's got some stuff on it. I got another James Avery. Man, that's twice. I've dug two of these this year. Check this out. I got a gold ring. Got a fancy design on it. Got a little diamond on it. It's 14 karat. 14 karat gold. Says it right in there. I think that's what I think that's it. It's got writing on both both sides. But anyway, that's nice. And then to me, that's a good that's a good find, but the find of the day. Look how big this thing is. Wow. That is an FFA. That may be a graduation ring. I don't I don't know. But it is a beautiful ring. Check this out. Got fancy all the way around it. It's got fancy on the inside. It says Lone Star. Too bad it doesn't have any name or identification on it at all. No school, no name, nothing. But man, it rang up like a 7879. So I need to look and see what kind of uh, metal this is. I don't think it's going to be silver. Uh, it would have blew my ears off. And I don't think that's going to be gold, but it could be. I don't know. We'll look it up and research it and uh, see. But that is a nice ring. That is huge. That is huge. So there's all the, the goodies on this trip. There's all the trash. And here's all the treasure. Like I always say, the greatest treasure isn't what you can go and, and find in the lake and put on your tailgate and do a wrap up. The greatest treasure, my friends, is what found, is found up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just wish everybody happy hunting and God bless.